GS group also on Griffiths. Notice how most of these companies all have the American flag, thank God. And Bernie Bus is right over there, although I think Bernie Bus got <laughs> bought out and they don't call it Bernie Bus anymore. Yep, more fencing. This isn't all of it. Oh no, they got even more fencing than this. The company that's building this fence is, well, I'm sure the boss is going to take a really nice winter vacation. But I'm pretty sure Bernie Bus got sold a while ago. But for some reason they still call it Bernie. Takes some of these companies years before they actually change their name, Price Chopper. And you get a pretty nice view of the sunset from here on Griffiths. Pretty cool. But they really built up the fence. This is where they refurbish trains. Train engines. Ouch. FYI, train engines. It's a stop sign, you moron. One thing Griffiths never does, they never enforce the traffic, ever. This road, for example, I believe it's uh, Ellsworth, maybe. Yeah, never any traffic enforcement. And cars whip through here pretty fast at nighttime and in the morning hours. Yet you got a ton of police stationed here on Griffiths, nothing. This and Hangar Road, they just fly up and down it. I mean, <laughs> regardless of what's on it, or regardless of any speed limit. And, I mean, I've been taking this road for like over 10 years, 20 years, hell. And uh, <laughs> I've never seen a car pulled over on it, ever. I mean, why they have a speed limit posted is fucking beyond me. <laughs> But pedestrians would be smart not to use the road, use the trail. They keep it plowed even in the winter. That's a Hillary Clinton company. Yeah, got moved in here. Uh, alternative fuel. They promised uh, 300, 400 jobs. I don't think they hire much more than maybe 20 or 30 people. Typical Democrat company. If you hear me breathing, that's because we are going up in incline. And I'm getting a little old for this shit. And that's uh, the famous Northeast Air Defense Sector. There is a commemorative uh, day coming up called September 11th. And if you look it up on YouTube, look up N-E-A-D-S, September 11th. And you're going to get a real good documentary on how this area uh, controlled and coordinated aircraft uh, during September 11th, 2001. And... Uh, I think it was first aired on PBS, and it's an outstanding documentary. So, to commemorate September 11th, watch that documentary. Or Google uh, Northeast Air Defense September 11th on YouTube 
and you'll see the documentary. Unless YouTube has removed it because YouTube, they keep all the uh, conspiracy bullshit about September 11th. But they remove all the excellent documentaries of September 11th. Progressives and liberals, they love their conspiracies. I hear a jet. Jet. That was a jet. We're going to pulse. Usually I see this at night time, but we're going to see it in the daytime. This is uh, MA Pulse Consulting. This is their new building. I would say it's roughly four times the size of their old building. Consulting business must be good. He's even got a diesel generator in the back. And they change their uh, titles I think it's propane uh, every couple of years. I think it's, uh, yeah, this is I think Pulse. they get bought out by somebody, their shares, no, 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 he takes down the flag. The, the person that owns the most that shares just changes the name. BAE Systems yeah, has been on the Griffiths for a long time. What they do here is kind of classified, so I'm not even going to guess at what they do here. But uh, this is BAE Systems on Griffiths. International Airport. Camera's coming loose, it's a little wobbly. This is Periton. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Periton Company. Some of these buildings need a major facelift. I mean, uh, they used to be operated by the Strategic Air Command when the 416th Bomb Wing was here, uh, the famous Sack Hill. But uh, the buildings definitely need some work. BAE System, Central New York Defense Alliance, and the Cyber Research Institute. Let's go in and take a look. This is the Raymond P. Ertz. Griffiths Institute. I believe they have all kinds of things here. Um, consulting, uh, you know, if you want to start a company here on Griffiths, this is where you go. And it's also owned by BAE Systems. But I've always liked this building. This was built, I believe, after the Air Force moved everything out to uh, basically attract businesses on the Griffiths. And I've always liked this building. Sometimes the helicopters, they land here just to refuel, and then they take off again. Why Griffiths doesn't have like a helicopter it's taxi service is beyond me. I mean, you put a helicopter taxi service here on Griffiths with say six to eight helicopters, uh, you're going to be busy non-stop, guaranteed. People are going to be taking that helicopter to Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, Poughkeepsie, the Adirondacks. No brakes. Uh, makes you wonder where some of these people on this trail come from. They wander around like it's the end of the world. Zombies. Notice how the leaves are already falling. And this trail is from the top of Perimeter Road on Griffiths, right in front of Sack uh, Hill. And, uh, well, behind Sack Hill. But, uh, this is, uh, 
one of my favorite spots. You don't get a lot of people from Rome, New York on this trail. Basically because it's not close to any big apartments. Well, it soon will be and is uh, with the Air City Lofts on Griffiths, but those are expensive apartments so you don't get the low class people. Ah. Hold on, I saw a bee. <laughs> I have the intention span of a wolf looking at red meat. Could it be? There he goes. He's back. He's back. See him over there? I'm trying to hold my hand real steady, but I shake like crazy. Probably Parkinson's. It's one reason why I need a gimbal for this camera, because if you have a gimbal, you can shake your hand like crazy and you get really steady video. And I saw an aphid a stink beetle. Always cool to watch the bees. Okay. Let's continue. I thought the Orgill warehouse would be open 24-7, but it's not. I mean, uh, I think they have one or two shifts and that's it, which I'm really surprised about. I thought they would have much, much more. Uh, but they said they're only going to hire around 200 workers. So for a warehouse that size, that's basically a single, a single shift. This is the swamp behind the Orgill warehouse. I thought this would have all flooded during the rains last week, uh, earlier this week, whenever it was, when we had that flooding, but uh, this never flooded. But the beavers definitely dammed it up down that way uh, because this used to be a little tiny stream. You could just jump over it. Uh, now it's uh, three to four feet high with water and uh, there's actually some good sized bullhead in here. <laughs> 